video already, Zoe. Picture this. It's freshman year of high school. There are two girls, Paige and Noelle, both who walk in confidently what they seem to consider to be their home for the next four years of their life. As each of the four years go by, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, each girl gives it all they got. Whether it's those endless late nights of studying and writing essays, or those long hours of reading multiple textbook pages, or even those weekly mental breakdowns they have, thinking to themselves, can they maintain their individual GPA anymore? While Paige and Noelle both bulldoze through their high school experience, they share only one very similar common trait, getting into college, which many of you in this room can relate to. Whether you're a senior who just applied or a rising senior who did apply this fall. In Paige's case, her desire is to go to Princeton, the number one college in America. While Noelle's desire is to go to Northeastern, as its ranking is 47. You see, success, or in sports terms, winning is a different meaning to everyone. To some athletes or students, it may mean the Ivy League colleges, or only bringing home the gold medal. To others, it may mean the non-Ivy League colleges, just bringing home the bronze medal. Success is not about the destination. Yeah, don't get me wrong, the destination is quite important. However, more importantly, success is about the journey to that destination, that non-stop journey. In the previous story, there are two girls who both did similar things to achieve their dream. Both working hard to maintain their personal accomplishments. Both putting in those long hours that soon became days of writing their college application or essays. Think about it. Getting into Princeton or Northeastern as playing a sport as a professional athlete to a college athlete. All which you can consider to be your destination. In Paige's case, she's the professional athlete. The one trying to get into Princeton. As the college athlete is Noel, the one trying to get into Northeastern. Both athletes compete against opposing teams. As when you're applying, you have other students trying to apply either Northeastern or Princeton. Both players have personal trainers or doctors, as each student has a high school counselor. Each player has a coach, as every student has two loving parents. All of which you can consider to be people who guide you and support you to your success who pick you up when you fall, who motivate you even more when you fail. In both professional or college sports, the referee represents the college admission doctors, the one determining whether if it's a foul play or a given point. Or if it says in college terms, saying if you accepted or rejected. Some may argue there's a complete difference into getting, some may argue there's a complete difference into getting into either Princeton or Northeastern, or playing as a professional athlete to a college athlete. It's hard, the stakes are higher. Yes, both colleges do require different academic standards, whether it's your GPA, ACT score, SAT score, even miscellaneous activities done on the side, outside the norm. However, students who get accepted into a low-ranking college are just as happy as those who get into an Ivy League college. To them, in their perspective, Northeastern is their Princeton. Being a star college athlete is being a professional athlete. People like Noel, for example, have the same motives and determination just like people like Paige. Both groups must try hard all throughout their four years of high school. Both athletes must train hard during every practice before the game, not only to achieve their goal, but to sustain it and maintain it. So, does it mean the student who graduates from Princeton is more successful in comparison to the student who graduates from Northeastern? The title doesn't and shouldn't matter because no two differences will be ever considered the same. Even though everyone has a different limit, everyone has a different destination. However, they share the similar meaning when it comes to wanting it or how to get to it. What matters most is that you put in that effort, the hard work it takes to accomplish your own dream and to continue doing so to live a successful life. Because if you stop, then you won't be successful. Just like if you don't try hard through the four years of your high school, how are you supposed to get into the college of your dream?